Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I had this idea of building a roller conveyor for the Pickler Triangle which I recently made for my little son. I was triggered by the fact that my son had difficulties to slide down a normal wooden board when he wore non-skid socks. I started to make some drawings and later I designed a detailed 3D model. With the design on hand I started building. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, I went to the hardware store to buy all materials. Based on my design, I marked all holes and edges I needed to drill or cut. After finishing this, I built the frame. Then I drilled the holes for the bearings. I used the router to smoothen the edges. When I finished the first frame element, I marked the second one and started to build it. Then I set up my miter saw and cut the rods into equally sized pieces. Next, I cut the insulation pipes for the rolls by using a cutter knife. To ensure a straight cut, I used thick and long paper that I wrapped around the rolls a few times. Exactly aligned, this paper created a straight cutting template. The next step turned out to be the most difficult part, drilling holes in the head ends of the rods. First I built a drilling jig to make sure I would drill centered and straight into the rods. The jig was semi-optimal. Lessons learned, next time I would definitely spend some more time to make a more advanced and precise jig. 
With a little research on the internet, I soon found out other useful tips how to drill holes into head ends. But overall, the quality has been good enough to go ahead. Next, I pushed the rods into the insulation pipes to finish the roads. The last step was to insert dowels softly into the bearings. The dowels are the connections between the frame and the rolls. The bearings will ensure smooth spinning. After finishing this step, all parts were prepared for assembling. Basically the assembling was easy. I just had to put all bearings and dowels into the frames, thread the rolls on the dowels and then carefully mount the second frame. Finally I screwed everything together. So that's it. Even when it's not 100% perfectly executed, the result is absolutely satisfying and working very well. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'm also looking forward to read your comments. See you in the next video.